Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Dixie3D. Uh, my channel is all about doing ZBrush sculpting, so uh, sit back and enjoy. Today's video is going to be about group loop extraction, how to get nice crisp edges. Um, basically a revised edition of a previous video I had on my channel. Um, so let's get started. First off we'll start with subdividing our model. We'll go to the uh, polyframe, shift F is the shortcut for that. Now to subdivide, shortcut is control D. We'll just subdivide it up to about 208,000 polys. Turn off our polyframe. Start to mask out an area. Just mask out this section here. Hold Control and Alt to tap on the model to sharpen it. Turn back on your polyframe. Control W to make it a new poly group. Up in your light box you'll find under brushes a folder called smooth. Within that folder you will find a brush called smooth groups. Now as I have lots of folders it could be anywhere so I'll leave that up to you guys to find yours. So once you get your smooth groups you hold smooth and just smooth off the edges of the poly group. That'll make it nice and crisp. But that's not the crispiness we're after. What we're going to do now is go back up to geometry, delete our subdivision history, and then control shift tap to isolate the poly group, come down to group loops, make it a group loop. Now what it's done is when you've made your group loop, it's masked it out, but not right to the edge of the poly group, to that nice crisp edge. So if you go to move, shortcut for that's control W. Um, Go to Unmarsh Mess Center. Now I have the button up here. And if you want to find that yourself, apart from using Alt and tapping the location icon, I'm pretty sure that would be under uh, Masking. And go to Unmarsh Mess Center. Right, so once you do that, you hold Control and pull it out, and it pulls out unsavory looking geometry which is not real good so uh the idea to get nice crisp edges is to um and i stumbled upon this accidentally is to go back to draw mode clear your mask go back to move mode tap the poly group with control held down and that will give you a masked out area now notice the mask has gone right to the poly group this time so when you actually do pull out with control held down, you get beautiful, crisp, clean edges. Very good for hard surface modeling and a lot of other applications. So that's as easy as it is. Um, I hope you liked that little tip and uh, stay tuned for the next video. And could, if you could, please like and subscribe to my channel as I'm trying to build it up to make more better videos. All right. Thank you. Bye.